scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The qualities that a guy must have before you think of entering a relationship and a lady we have to talk about that quickly. There are qualities. Listen. Please look up. If these qualities are not in you. And you have been dreaming of asking a lady out in this place. You better wake up from that dream. Wake up in Jesus name. The Bible says arise. Thou that sleepest. And let Christ give you light. So wake up tonight and listen. There are many brothers that think because you are macho and broad-chested and tall, dark and handsome, it just means that every lady is standing desperate like a leaf. Better repent of your pride and listen to these qualities that we have to explain. Is anybody following me tonight? I already told you to laugh from the beginning. Look up, please. The Bible says for us to have no business with the unfruitful work of darkness before you even consider a relationship or marriage with anybody let me tell you something that person must be genuinely born again write it this is not part of the quality this is what even qualifies you to begin to look at other qualities must be born again we live in a generation where ladies are becoming the holy spirit who have the exclusive ability to change any Romeo they like. Let me tell you something. Come out of what you watched in that Nigerian film. Don't get up and go and yoke. See, look up. Every lady, every true godly lady must submit herself to the man. The only choice you have is to choose the kind of head you submit to. Hallelujah. Don't choose any kind of head that will come and kill you. He must be born again. What does it mean to be born again? To submit to the governing authority of Christ. The governing authority of the word. A man that does not submit to the word of God can kill you. There is nothing to give him boundaries. There is nothing to define the terms of his relationship or marriage with you. There is nothing to convict him. You can't afford to go out with a man who is not born again. There are many of us, it's those that are not born again that you like. You say they are nicer than the brothers. But they will take you to hell. And you won't see any of the brothers in hell. We are all going to heaven. Hallelujah. Say he must be born again. Guys, say she must be born again. Every lady that threw every great man in the Bible and in history were nice and beautiful ladies. Most of them did not have respect for the things of God. Hallelujah. If you marry a lady that is not born again and is not serious with God. Some of you say, uh-uh, but the guy is nice. Say that day Pastor Jakes even saw him. Didn't he greet you, sir? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Listen. I'm answering a lot of questions here.
do not confuse morality with the presence of the Holy Spirit in a man. Are you listening to me? Willpower can only take you so far. You do not know the power of, I mean, Satan and demons outside of the word of God. When you know that, you will know that morality is not enough. See, let me tell you something. You can get a course you don't like for five years. You can struggle it, wrestle it, complain about it and just finish. But when you get married, after 40 years, that man will change and wreck your life. And you will wish you were dead. Some of you, that's the case in your families. Now you have an opportunity to choose. Hallelujah. So are you ready now? Now, there are certain qualities that a Christian brother should have. We're, we're not talking about marriage yet. We're talking about relationships now. So every brother, every Christian brother or Christian sister that desires a godly relationship, we expect you to be building yourselves or to have built yourselves in this area. Hallelujah. Now, ladies, look up. I know that if I'm to call two or three ladies now, we don't have the time and ask you, what kind of man do you want? You first smile and say, hey. Hallelujah. You just carry your handbag. It's already written there because you've been praying about it. You bring out your hundred point agenda list. The guy must have the ability to carve his eyebrows. He must understand about nail filing and the rest. We don't want a brother with oil on his face as if they fried egg on the face. He must be posh and clean. Oh, you think we don't know? <laughs> Hallelujah. I like a brother that will do this, do that, do that. You want a brother that is exposed. Don't want anybody who will be disgracing you in the public. Praise God. You go to a restaurant before they see anything. They've not even prayed. They have started disgracing you. He thinks he's in his room. Now you are embarrassed. Ladies have a lot of things. But let me tell you tonight. Look up please. All those things will not work period did you hear me all those things will what because even you you are not prepared for that kind of man the only man that fits all those qualities you are writing is jesus christ jesus christ is not looking for a wife but he has made us his ambassadors are you listening to me you cannot say, oh, this guy must be. There are ladies who are so meticulous. Say, if I look at his skin, it must be fresh and this. Let me not see any funny thing. It must be without blemish. No, the lamb that will be slain. Listen, it's not wrong. It's just childish. You wrote it when you were in secondary school. Now you came to the university. Tear it. You are growing. That's, that's just the remedy. What you need is not deliverance. It's just growth. The Bible says, when I was a child, you were writing that when you were trying to keep yourself busy to write SSCA. This is almost 10 years now. Tear that thing. Grow up. Face a real world like a woman and a man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are certain virtues, Pastor Jakes called them, and I'll write it, cardinal virtues. That means there are some virtues that eventually they will develop themselves listen ladies look at me if you are looking for a perfect man you have no ministry in the life of that man are you listening to me the purpose of the lady is to complete the man to help his inadequacy so if you are looking for a man who is already perfect you don't have a ministry in the life of that man praise the lord mm. are you getting blessed all right, ladies, what qualities should you look for in, in the guy? And guys, these are the qualities you should be building yourself in. Number one, honesty and sincerity. Quality number one. 
any guy coming around your life who is not honest and sincere pack your load and run don't pray about it i'm already telling you the answer run honesty and sincerity the brother must be honest must be sincere you can't be at the back of ribadu that you know that part that dark part you are just sitting there and they just call and say ah maybe your wife or your girlfriend or whatever calls you and say ah i've, I've arrived lagos sky i just got there right now and she says are you serious well, how was the journey? You say, I'll call you later. I'm even too tired. You say, I understand. Immediately you drop. You just lie to the girl that is a distance call. It's your relative from UK that is calling you. No sincerity. Or you're calling one lady and the lady just comes and you pick up the call. You say, ah, you safe. As, as the money entered, does not enter. Hurry up now. Don't waste my time. I, I have a beautiful girl here to buy something for her. Why are you wasting my time? And you are lying. Sisters, are the brothers not like that? Brothers, don't feel bad. You know me. I always balance the equation. <laughs> Hallelujah. A dishonest brother will produce a dishonest husband, a dishonest father, a dishonest leader, and will kill you. Are you listening to me? Deal ruthlessly with dishonesty. It's better for the brother to say, Mio, I'm trusting God. God has not helped me yet. This shoe you are seeing is my only one. This trouser is the only one. This shirt is the only one. But the spirit of faith is in me. You are seeing me pray in every koinonia. I'm sweating in your presence. You are seeing that we are flogging out this thing. The door will open one day. Is that correct? Many of you ladies, you like guys lying to you. You have itchy ears. You like it so. The guy just comes to you and he's laughing and he just says, Hi, how are you? And this is not how he speaks, so just because you came. And the guy comes and he's bouncing and he likes you. And he says, oh, Sweetheart, I was wondering. Um, he said, Let me talk to this guy. I need to be at the airport tomorrow. What's your tomorrow like? I'm going to take the first flight tomorrow. I have to be back. There's something my, my dad sent a consignment. And can you imagine? This is boys. You know, they are taking my humility for granted. And the lady's melting. Hey. You know it's a lie. Your roommates are watching from their window. You know it's a lie. You like it so. You go back and you carry the lie and you are telling your roommates. You are, you are saying it as if you don't believe him. But you are saying it to increase your reputation. You are claiming that you don't like it. But you are telling everybody, shut up if you don't like it. Why are you telling everybody? Say, can you imagine? That guy came and met me and he was talking about one airport in me. He wants to play with me. Sister B, can you imagine? that guy? And you are claiming that you are not enjoying what he's saying. Honesty. Number two. The guy must be teachable. Ladies say teachability. Any brother that is not teachable is going to drown you. You will follow him together and enter an ocean of trouble and he will drown you. And brothers, this is where we have to be very careful. Because you see, we guys are egotistic in nature. Are you following me now? It's very difficult. There are some brothers here. God must help you tonight. Your deliverance has started. From your culture, women don't talk to men. From your culture, women don't advise men. Is that true? Some of you are from royal families. And you are taking your village everywhere you go. Even inside your relationship. So you are with the lady and she's trying to advise you. And she's saying, um, sweetheart, have you considered this? way? said, look, let this be the last time. Even the Bible said, wives, submit. Submit means shut up. Don't try me, oh. You are entering the fire and the lady is saying, honey, look at this. We are entering fire. Say, which fire? Guys, fire is burning you. I say, which fire? Where is the fire? And later you carry the girl and put together in the fire. And it's burning two of you. Later you say, ah, it's true. This thing looks like fire. When it has burnt you and it's almost killing you. 
brothers be teachable it's not a sign of weakness it's a sign of great strength these ladies may look like they don't know anything but i tell you something if you are humble and you can listen you will learn a lot of things any brother that is not teachable and arrogant and just believes you are the alpha and omega of that relationship the lady should shut up even if she's speaking nonsense one day she'll say something that is sensible you must listen many husbands have entered into trouble many husbands have done different things that that one plot of land that somebody came to swindle you land of 10 million you sold it for 2 million your wife was telling you be careful be careful say be careful for what all these women they are too emotional there are many of you if you will be teachable you know what teachability is teachability is your willingness to learn and your willingness to accept when you're wrong that's why we taught ourselves in our character building series on four words what's the first one can you remember everybody what's the first one please you must say please what's the second one i'm sorry apologize when you are wrong number three thank you you must tell people if they do good for you 20 times say thank you 20 times what's the last one god bless you you must bless people so you must be teachable let's hurry up number three brothers you must be visionary and responsible there are many guys you have not finished managing yourself don't add a woman into it there are many guys you you have not led yourself you don't have self-management you are careless you are indisciplined now you want to bring another lady and add her into your predicament you must be visionary when you hold a lady and say we are going out where are you going to i always give this example how many of you have climbed bike and the bike man told you you were asking him do you know this place do you know cgc before he finished he said yes later he starts going with you he just passes somewhere he said oh god this is not the road he said oh sorry i forgot then he turns back later he comes and just passes and is heading towards rema and you say oh god stop do you know where we are going he say, i thought you knew the place that's how many guys are you just bring the bike and hit the seat and tell the lady oh yeah climb the lady i used to say climb is it not me once they climb from gear one you go to the last one you are just speeding the lady says sorry you where are we going he say, leave me why we know have we arrived there be patient after 10 years you have not defined where you are going never go out with any guy you don't know where he's taking you to you better know where you are going no don't lead yourself like a sheep to the slaughter hallelujah hallelujah very important he must be responsible psychologically a guy who is always crying like a baby does not need relationship he needs help and growth somebody just say kai your hair is looking bushy he's crying it's the lady that says come <laughs> he says see things happen like that the guy says why is everybody doing to me you are embarrassing the lady they'll say how about sister is it that there was no guy which baby did you go and carry like this you enter a program there's a seat here they say sorry stand up for somebody else the guy is already crying the lady now stands up to hold him i say don't cry you are not ready for a relationship my brother please 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 focus on your finances or something else your spiritual life because let me tell you something there are pressures you are going to absorb in your life hallelujah as a leader you don't let people see your tears anyhow it will kill their spirits hallelujah every lady needs a man that she can be secured around a man that can protect her was told of a story that armed robbers came somewhere open this door now bow 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 the man just stabbed the wife and said stand up no he, he was pretending like he was sleeping she just said honey honey as if he was sleeping. honey you must wake up oh are you hearing what is happening say i'm hearing now why would you just keep quiet the guy was sweating and shaking true life story 
The woman got up and started praying in tongues around her house. They were shouting, if you let us open this door by ourselves, this and that and that. Do you know that eventually when the armed robbers left and the woman came, she found the man dead. Yeah. What killed him? So who is protecting who? There are many of you, you like women, but you are very fearful. You don't have courage. You are not emotionally balanced. Please don't think of getting into a relationship that you'll be crying all the time. As if you are going to JS1. You know how people go to JS1 and they cry. At a point, the lady is feeling, oh God, did you bring me to protect this? What did you bring me to do in his life? You are not a man. Hallelujah. So, that, that's it for the guys. Cardinal virtues. Ladies, brothers, if you love your destiny and where God is taking you, make sure you look at this. Number one, the ladies must be submissive. Every lady says submission. Look up, please. Submission is not weakness. Submission is the ability to bring your strength under control. Are you following me now? What is submission? The ability to bring your strength under control. You see this from many of our mothers. The man can be shouting, saying something, and, and our mothers are not wrong, but they will just keep quiet. You will be wondering and say, if I were my mother, eh? How about we enter the same trouser? Say, my mother, my father is always doing with her. She's even doing like Musev. Eh? All these village with me. Ha, but no man can try that. You better shut up. Oh. You better shut up. Because your mother was once a young CC like you and was bouncing like that. Ask her why she's calm now. Hallelujah. Many ladies have this funny. There are many things that we are doing that we don't know is childishness. This night you will see that it's just sheer childishness. Hallelujah. Submission very important bringing your strength under control number two can you imagine I'm, I'm just summarizing what pastor jakes has already preached so we have to run number two teachability ladies you must also be teachable there are some ladies gamaliel you always teach everybody gamaliel was the person who taught paul some of you are gamaliel you sit in the midst of brothers. Do you know this? The brother comes to talk to you. Yeah, just like a Proverbs this and that said. This and that. And you think you are impressing him. The guy just gets up. Just tells his friend, baby, I'm to me now. let's just go somewhere. That's not it. It's not the way forward. This is nonsense. As you are talking, the lady is just saying, this is not a wife. This is a man. You are not teachable. There are some of you, no man can sit you down. And talk to you no man you do something so even if he's a pastor you do something pastor jack said all right two of you come to see me he said me see you nobody brought me into this world though even my father doesn't you see that so who do you want to come and marry you who do you want be fair who do you want to come and marry this kind of trouble teachability number three sisters you must be physically attractive the brothers are not just spirits they dwell in bodies they have eyes my friend Jimmy says love is blind marriage will open your eyes sisters look up brothers look up too my brother you better don't deceive yourself if you are going far ah huh? And you don't want to run it now when i talk of beauty beauty is a relative statement but you must don't carry a lady that you will not be proud of huh you just see somebody says my younger is just my younger sister or you just look and say someone is one lady that is disturbing me or me i'm tired i don't know what to do you kill the lady if you behave to a lady like that you don't deserve her Get out of her life and let the person who deserves her come in. Are you following me? Very important. Don't find yourself. You must be proud of the lady. Ladies, be physically attractive. That does not mean be pornographic or nude. You are a Christian. It means be nice. 
you are young don't celebrate your 50th birthday when you are 22 be patient the time will come and all the brothers say amen it doesn't mean you must have all the money look we are watching brothers are happy when they see a nice sister you are you are you are taking care of yourself how much is powder the type we use how much is it the type you use is ten thousand that's too expensive get the normal who will know who will know it's only among yourself ladies that you know will we know see a lady just comes there's there's fats on your face oily face you are just moving walking anyhow you are just walking any you can't even compose yourself they are sharing food join the line you want to collect you are doing all these kind of attitudes the brothers are watching you need to tell yourself myself behave behave the bible says you are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses behave hallelujah you must be physically attractive if you have one shirt iron it don't carry a shirt that is twice your size yes your mother gave it to you adero tell us reduce it Abba. must everybody know it was a gift you just carry needle and fold it and fold it and clip it can they reduce it The brothers are not idiots why we are praying in tongues Shut up, da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah please brothers look for what looks like your future <laughs> hallelujah can I come to the brothers now? Oh, I must come. You know me. Hallelujah. You see, Archbishop Benson Idahosa said, don't criticize anybody until you have done twice what the person has done once. Hallelujah. Brothers, if you want that kind of glamorous lady, you must start working on yourself as up. Are you following me now? There are many brothers, you are bushy, you don't comb your hair, the dust is dry season, but you still see at the back of your shoe, mud of rainy season. You are, uh, no, I will talk, you must be physically attractive. You wear one, one singlet for two months. It's easy to wear something on top. Who will know? You can't buy perfume of 500 naira. You just come, you are sweating. They say, hug your neighbor. Before they do anything, you want to hug. How much is sure? At least that's the basic one. Listen, you are a leader. You don't bob your hair. This side is more than this side. It's not like maybe it's a style. It's just disorganization of your hair. Because for a long time, you can't even go to the barbing salon and say, just have it, let it be nice. You finish bathing, even oil, you just, you are trying to comb it. You don't know whether it's back or front. You throw the comb away and get up. Just come for koinonia and you just come and you are smiling. You think it's everybody that is smiling with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your, your clothes are always rumpled. Always, always always rumple hmm? go and wear one kind of thing and carry one one kind of tie you stop here you now wear it and you are coming and you are just eyeing the sister she's not looking at you i assure you i assure you i assure you she's not looking at you hallelujah Help us, Holy Spirit. We have to run. You must be physically attractive. Both parties. Be smart. 
We are not saying go and borrow everybody's clothes to come for koinonia with. Uh -uh. If you have been doing it, stop. It's not necessary. God has blessed you. God has blessed you. Hallelujah. You are borrowing your roommate's shoe every week. The day your roommate says it's coming for miracle service too. On that day, you wear your palms and sit outside. Even if you spams you have, wear it honorably. Polish it. Can I tell you something, brothers? I discovered something with ladies. They are not as materialistic as we think. I tell you, there are some ladies that love God and they are willing to start and go with you only if you will be honest. Sisters, is that true? It's not all of you that should say yes because some of you are very materialistic. I'm coming to you. So this was a summary of what Jake shared. Hallelujah. Very important. So how many of us have been blessed by those qualities? How many of us know that there are some of them we need to walk in ourselves? Don't lie now. Lift your hands. Don't pretend. I appreciate your honesty. This is why we are here. And God is helping us. Do you know why you need to work on these qualities? It doesn't mean you have to be perfect. But make sure there are honest efforts. Are you following me now? So that you can be a blessing to one another. Everybody say, I'm not a curse. I'm a blessing. Say one more time, I'm not a curse. I'm a blessing. Hallelujah. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.